Good morning everyone. I'm gonna show you my uh, updated work makeup routine and a little bit of my morning routine. It's very, um, it's not a good, great routine to be honest. It's very realistic. I don't even do my bed because I can't be bothered. Um, I've, I haven't had breakfast because I don't get hungry yet. I have breakfast on my way to work. Um, I've already cleansed my skin. Ooh. I'm now going to tone using my favourite toner which is the Nip and Fab Mandelic Charcoal Fix Toner. Literally the last few drops of this but I've got a spare one. Because it's my favourite toner. Then I put on some eye cream. I'm going to use the Ola Henriksen eye cream. And I always use my ring finger to put this on. My favourite moisturiser at the minute is the Eve Taylor Balancing Moisture Lotion. Moisturising Lotion. I have really changed my makeup routine um, ever since I've started to wear glasses since um, December. I don't wear foundation anymore because I just... It just doesn't... I don't like wearing foundation and wearing glasses. So the first thing that I do is I put on some concealer. This is the Born This Way concealer. And um, I used to just grab this, do a little dot here, a little dot here, and then blend it out. But I've noticed that that's still too much product. And ever since I've been doing the makeup course online, they say something a lot throughout the course, which is less is more. Um, and they kind of teach you how to think outside the box a little bit. So I've already felt like I was applying less and I didn't even need to set the concealer with powder. It wouldn't crease because I wasn't using a lot of product. But now I wipe off the product, off the dofa. I grab this small fluffy brush that I like to use for concealer. Dot that on. And then dot it around the eye. And that way I am using even less product. And um, the reason I have started to do this is because when I used to apply it the other way, at first it would look fine, but when I would come home at the end of the day, I would notice yellow concealer like this on my face. And it didn't look cakey if I had full face of makeup on, if I had foundation on because I don't put foundation on, or maybe it's just the way I was applying it, but yeah, there were just like yellow lines around my eyes and it didn't look very natural. Um, I put some on my lid as well. And yeah, I really love this concealer. It does exactly what I want it to do. It evens out the skin around the eyes. It, is, it does cover very well. And as I said, this concealer, for some reason, because I'm using such little product, I don't need to set it with powder. The next thing I do is I put brow gel on so that that can start to dry up. I've been using the Got To Be brow gel. Um, this is fine, it's all right. I don't know if I would repurchase it, to be honest. Um, it brings up a lot of product when I first pick it up, so I wipe off a lot of the product. I comb my eyebrows up and to the side. I let that dry. I haven't laminated my eyebrows in ages. I'm giving them a long break because uh, I was kind of obsessed with it and my eyebrows were going a little bit funny, a little bit frizzled because I was do overdoing it. Anyway, next. Um, while the eyebrow gel is drying, I move on to the rest of my face. I've been obsessed with this liquid blush. This is um, made by Mitchell Liquid Blush in the shade Peach Sugar. I'm literally scraping the bottom of this. I've almost finished it. And what I do is I do two dots here and two dots here. I do it just where like that bone is, cheekbone. You don't have to do this, but I use two different brushes to blend this out. You can just go in with a big fluffy brush and blend it out. But I've been loving the look of these two brushes together, where this one is quite dense and a little bit flat. And I start placing the product where I want the majority of it. Now that looks very pigmented and scary, right? That's because of the type of brush I'm using. But I put that there and I leave that there. I do the same on the other side. So now that the product is where I want it to be, 
that's when I go in with this brush and then I blend that out. I used to love blush, powder blush, and I used to put it all over my cheeks and not overdo it. Um, since doing the online makeup course by Online Makeup Academy, they say that that gives you like a clown look. So, um, I mean, obviously you can still do that if you like the look of it. Sometimes I still do it if I'm in the mood for a lot of blush, but a lot of the time I place it up here to give, you the, to give me that lifted look. Yeah, that's what I do there and then I grab my bronzer I've had this bronzer for years this is the Estee Lauder bronze goddess it's my favorite bronzer I recently got this one by Ramel the natural bronzer this was actually if you was to buy two products by Ramel you get this one free but this one's very pigmented and I need to be very careful with it in the morning on the way to work I cannot um, be asked to deal with pigment <laughs> So I use the Estee Lauder one because I can dip my brush into it, tap it off and then it's not so pigmented to a point where it's just going to leave a big mark on my face. But yeah, I sort of come down to the sides of my forehead, do up here, do my jawline and this is just to give some warmth. Right, so after I've done the bronzer, I go back to my eyes. My favourite eyeliner is the BH Cosmetics Brown Eyeliner. And I really need to find this again. I used to buy it off Beauty Bay, but I don't think they've got it anymore. So I am panicking. <laughs> oh, I've got the smallest amount. So I used to do winged liner um, if I was in the mood for it. But for quite some time now, I just like to smudge this brown eyeliner like just on the half out edge of my eye. And again, because I have been doing this makeup course, um, my eye, this bit is droopy, this and the fold comes very low down, so when I do a winged liner, it gets lost into the fold. I've got hooded eyes, because it's not like that. This is just way easier, so what I've been doing is I've been placing the product there. Same on the other side. I grab this teeny tiny smudging brush this little smudgy pencil brush and I just smudge that it do I don't make it neat at all I just go for it kind of went ham on this one okay and then what I do I've been doing this um, since I've been doing the makeup course and I've been loving it I grab my concealer again wipe off the excess I grab a flat concealer brush, grab some product, and then I draw a line like this from the bottom of my waterline out towards the tail of my brow, and then I blend that down. Grab my fluffy concealer brush, and I blend that out. And ever since I've been doing this, it's just been neatening that smudge upwards and outwards and it gives a really good cat eye look. Um, whenever I do winged liner, I always try to angle it that way. But for some reason, without a guide, I always end up um, going too low or it just doesn't look right. But ever since I've been doing it in reverse, where I just put the colour there and then neaten it up with concealer, I've been loving the way it looks. I feel like I get the right angle that I'm looking for. Going back to my eyebrows, now that the eyebrow gel is dry, I've been obsessed with this product right here. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch. It's a brow tint pen. Um, this is in the shade Espresso. This matches my hair. It's like an eyeliner brush, but it's so fine you can create hair-like strokes. This eyebrow grows that way and this one grows up straight. That's why I used to do the brow lamination to perm that upwards. But Because I am giving the brow lamination a break, I'm going to draw hair-like strokes upwards to even them out. Just like fill in the gaps. 
looks very natural and lovely finally the lips i like products to last on my lips can't be asked to top top it up throughout the day um i don't do that at work I tend not to so i've been trying out lip uh lip tints this is the flora tint by benefit i really like the clarins one because it lasts long but i i i don't know if clarins do different um colors but the one i had was very red so i've been using this one I love the colour of this, but unfortunately it doesn't last very long. Mainly go for two different lip options. Um, so this colour with my old favourite lip liner, this is the LA Colours lip liner in natural. I used to love this and then I hated it at some point because I felt like it didn't suit my skin tone anymore, where I was really, really fair, but where I've got a little bit of uh, melanin back in my skin where I've been away on holiday this is suiting my skin tone again I feel like so I, I've been loving this combo by the way I've tried the refi lip sculpt stuff I feel like I was expecting it to last ages but it didn't so I wasn't a fan of that to be honest another option I do is I use the the Rimmel lasting finish exaggerate lip liner in rose addiction with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lipstick those two go really well together but yeah i've been doing this one quite a lot so this one is the flora tint by benefit and then the, the la colors lip liner in natural Yeah, I feel like the colours really complement each other. I feel like my lips look um, alive and then I decide what to wear. But yeah, this is the makeup done. I feel like my hair, when I do my makeup, my hair doesn't look crazy anymore. <laughs> so I do leave the house like this. But a lot of the time at work, I just put it up in a bun or something. When I'm doing a pedicure or electrolysis or whatever I'm doing, it needs to be out my way. So it is going to be going in a bun later on. Before I go, I just wanted to show you my makeup in natural daylight. So I'm right in front of the window. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Lovely and jovely, isn't it? But yeah, um, there's a train strike. Well, the over London Overground trains aren't working today. So I need to take a bus. So I need to leave right now because the bus takes a little bit longer. I'll grab myself a croissant on the way to work and uh, some water and that'll be my breakfast. But yeah, and that's my alarm to leave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>